गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द साइंस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट चैप्टर नंबर एलेवन ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेट वी कंटिन्यू एज वी ऑलरेडी सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एज अूमन बॉडी हाउ इट गेट फंक्शन ओके सो वी नो दैट लास्ट ईयर वी आर स्टडीड अबाउट द सम कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम सो इट्स वेरी एसेंशियल प्रॉपर्टीज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टूडे सो डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स इन अवर बॉडी are working together in a group and smoothly carrying out that process and that life process is known as a uh, and that life process take place in various steps so groups of organs working together to perform some specific function is called a organ system various organ system like digestive respiratory system circulatory system nervous system excretory system reproductive skeletal muscular etc are all functioning in our body so our energy is very essential you know uh, we require energy to do all the uh, necessary tasks isn't it children so energy is required in our body and it is very essential so energy production occurs within the cell and that cell is present in our body in each and every organ the cells needs the supply of nutrient soluble nutrient and oxygen for this purpose so this supply takes place with the help of respiratory and circulatory system so respiratory is carried out by following three step that you know the respiratory the first one is external respiration and internal respiration so uh, so inspiration or inhalation is one and the same so when we take air so the air is taken through nose and sent towards the lung through the trachea that will be when, when we inhale jab hum swas lete hain andar ha huh? we take oxygen yes air is taken through nose and sent towards the lung through the trachea okay so that is windpipe and ex- exhalation we leave carbon dioxide by through co2 okay so so oxygen inspired air goes into the blood and blood carries the CO2 from various parts of the body towards the lung and this air is given out by the exhalation both this process occurring with the help of lungs are collectively called as external respiration internal respiration exchange of gases as oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide okay between cell and the fluid tissue so exchange of gases between the cell and the the tissue fluid is called internal respiration oxygen move from blood into the tissue fluid and carbon dioxide move from tissue to fluid into the blood so that is the internal respiration as cellular respiration uh, some uh, some of the soluble nutrient dissolved nutrient like glucose are slowly burnt oxidized with the help of oxygen and by this energy is released in the in the form of atp atp is nothing but the energy it is a form of energy when all the soluble nutrients and gases will get exchanged and slowly burn okay when this the oxygen energy is will get released is the it form the atp so waste water like co2 that is carbon dioxide and water vapors are produced during the process so in this how the chemical equations are written here okay so next that is the respiration system Re- respiration system this all the function is given okay children this is no need to explain but then to this all the basic thing that we already learned this is a respiratory system by through this nasal by through the nose we take air through the lungs okay and we gives out carbon dioxide okay there is inhale and exhale this is a pharynx trachea when the air taken through the nose through the via trachea larynx the two lungs alveoli and diaphragm okay this is a part of the structure of how we are how we are taking where respiration characteristic function of respiration okay yeah yeah structure this is a via alveoli and this is human respiratory system alveoli okay this is in and out passage one is going to uh, air to through taken in by through the lungs one is given out by through this transported to the capillaries okay so this all the different parts nose pharynx windpipe lungs exchange of gases lungs and diaphragm this is the structures of the respiratory system so nose respiratory system and respiration 
we begin with the nose and air is filtered with the help of air and mucus which is present in the mucus the small small air with a small organ which is present in the nose by through this we take uh, uh, we, we air through take in and we use of carbon dioxide okay pharynx is a food pipe and food pipe and wind pipe originate in the pharynx do hai two pipe that is food pipe and wind pipe when we consume the food at that time there is a lead a lead hai at the lead in the beginning of wind pipe the wind pipe remain close do uh, when during passing the food into the food pipe okay and a uh, uh, rest of the time what will happen you know uh, 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 normally prevents the entry of uh, normally entry of food particle into the uh, otherwise the wind pipe remain open only okay normal time okay whenever we are consuming the food at that time the wind pipe will remain close and the it will get, the food will get entry into the food pipe otherwise the wind pipe will remain open and hence the air passes through pharynx into the wind pipe baki ka samay kya hota hai air passes hota hai through the pharynx into the wind pipe wind pipe is a swollen at the beginning due to the sound box sound box kya hai why uh, where, uh, uh, our sound is coming by through sound box and it is uh, and wind pipe is located in that only and wind pipe bifurcate to the thorax and one branch enters the right lung and another to the left lung lung is present on the either side of the heart apna lungs kis tarah situated hai at the uh, at the either side of the heart in the thoracic cavity maximum area thoracic cavity is occupied by lung and they are covered by the maximum part of the heart so each lung has a double layer covering it is protected and lungs are elastic like sponge okay so lungs are made up of many many small compartment are called as alveoli there is a rich network of capillaries is present around each alveolus okay so wall of alveoli and capillaries are extremely thin gaseous exchange can easily take place across the thin wall exchange of gases in lungs gaseous exchange occurs during continuous while blood is circulating around the alveoli that you should remember first okay so an iron containing protein hemoglobin is present in the rbc that is the red in blood hemoglobin absorb oxygen by from air within alveoli simultaneously co2 water vapor move blood into the alveoli oxygen is taken into blood by co2 and water vapor removed from the blood and given out exhalation diagram same way a muscular partition is present at the base of thoracic cavity so this partition is called diagram it is present between the thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity simultaneously rising of ribs and lowering of diagram causes a decrease in the pressure of lung due to that continuous upward and downward movement the diagram is necessary to bring out breathing that is why we breathe properly because of the diagram by causes the pressure okay so in this way we will stop here in the year only will give some questions to you note down and send it in the whatsapp